Good evening, hello and welcome. Uh, Ronnie Radiation Buyers uh, from the Specials, Scalby Rebels, uh, I've been to in Australia, doing some solo shows, and uh, here I am. Working at your leisure to learn the things that you need. The promises you make tomorrow, they'll carry no guarantee. Where does your alias come from? Uh, good, good question. Uh, it goes back to uh, the early seventies. You know, remember like David Bowie had like this alter ego Ziggy Stardust. Kind of like I was kind of a David Bowie fan in those days, and uh, my uh, kid brother called me Roddy Radiation as a joke, you know. And when the punk thing came along, and everyone had stupid names, you know, like Johnny Rotten, Sid Vicious or whatever, so like, I used the name, and I got stuck with it, you know. Working by the rat race, you know you waste your time. Working by the rat race, you know where I'm at. How did you get into music? In the soul band. My grandfather played in a dance band, and uh, my father said to me, like, you're not going to go to university, so you better learn an instrument boy, you know? <laughs> Often trombone at the age of 11. Quit that at 13 and switched to guitar. And a uh, hundred years later, I'm still doing it. <laughs> this cat needs a kitten, this dog needs a bone. My crazy baby's just at home. She's gone, gone, gone. What have you been up to since your debut? A lot really, I've never really stopped gigging, you know, like the, the specials kind of uh, were kind of big in Europe and UK and in the late 70s, early 80s and I, I played in umpteen rock and roll kind of punk bands in the, the early 80s and then uh, some of the specials reformed the 90s and we toured uh, Japan and the States a lot for about four years and then uh, fairly recently the most of the old band reformed and we did the world again. song from your catalogue? Probably Rat Race because it was uh, one of the songs that the specials let me have out as a single and it got in, the, in, the, in Europe it was in the top ten you know like so like Concrete Jungle and Taylor Rich Girl that uh, Emmy Winehouse covered so like you know like I often wish I'd written more commercial songs because you write a song you don't necessarily sit down and think like what's going to sell mega books, you just write a song about how you're feeling or about some girlfriend that's pissed you off 20 years ago or, or whatever, you know. Amy Winehouse must have grown up on some of our music, I guess, you know, like, or, or like friends of hers had turned her on to me, you know, and like, I was very pleased when she covered my song, Late like Rich, she guested with us at uh, Glastonbury Music Festival in the UK, like, uh, I thanked her, I was devastated when she died, you know, like, I just wish that she'd had somebody there to look after her. But. What's next for 
Roddy Radiation. Well, I'll go back home, have a bit of a break. Got a few shows before Christmas in the UK, and I'm up to California, Mexico in February. And a couple of big festivals in uh, California last time was over. So um, I'm doing that again, you know. It's, it's kind of like, you know, have suitcase more travel, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good to teach the